We are stationary for a little while, so we're going to do some sprucing up on our RV home to make it even more like our own home. And we're going to spruce up some things on our old truck to make that look newer as well. Let's go down that road. Hello, faithful people. I'm Orlean. I'm Gary. <laughs> He's getting all the stuff out to do the projects that we're going to do. We have been wanting, well, I have been wanting to add shutters to our RV for a couple of years now. And I'm so looking forward to it. We finally got <laughs> the paint today. Let me show you what we've got. First of all, if you're new to our channel, you didn't maybe see some of the things we've already done. We removed a whole bunch of big swooshy, splashy decals that were on the side there. And we removed some stripes that were on here too that were burgundy and gold. And then there were big swooshes here, and there was a logo and some other things over here. You can still see part of the logo. It still is just the shadow of it. And um, have tried different things to get rid of that, but haven't gotten it completely off yet. And you really have to look at it closely to see it, and it usually doesn't even show. Um, eventually, these will come off as well, but they really are a bugger to take off of aluminum siding. We painted the service doors and the front door. These were um, these were fiberglass, so the the decals came off really easy from there. We also took off from the front. Took everything off the front side, so that's completely bare now and nice and clean. Right now the back is up so we can have um, the window open in the kitchen, but that top part there, right there, was uh, had a logo on it and it was getting really, really, really faded. And so we took all that off and painted that and that has been holding up very well. Eventually, I want to get our logo up there. So right now we are at our son's driveway and we are going to be here for a while we're actually pet sitting while they're gone so we're uh, thinking well it's just the two of us and the cat and the dog and the fish <laughs> and we have time to work on this and we want to get it done the weather is going to be good so it's time to do it right Gary's prepping the area here for our shutters using Dawn dishwashing liquid. And then we'll go over that with some rubbing alcohol when it's dry. Well, after it's rinsed. After it's rinsed, then we'll go over it with some rubbing alcohol. Yeah, that's good. Get the windows while you're at it. They're dirty. <laughs> we're not going to paint the windows. We're no, we're not going to paint the windows. Just shutters. So we washed this all off and it's kind of dull now because we got a lot of the finish off, not finish, we got a lot of the wax and stuff off of there. After the shutters are painted on, we will go over it with wax like we will on the whole, on the whole RV. First, we have to use some rubbing alcohol. So up here, you can see on the eh, where's my finger on the outside there that gray looking stuff that's residue from some from some painters tape that we had at one time and it, for whatever reason it left a residue which is very unusual but we need to get that off just to clean that up and then we can start laying out the pattern here For those of you who don't know, we had to take out this window and do some water damage repair. The first year after we got back, we discovered there was old water damage that was never fixed. So this window had to come out and there was caulking put on it that Gary says really doesn't need it. So he's cutting all that off now. 
so we can go right up to the window frame. And here's the first one taped off. It's kind of weird because we've got the rounded, the rounded bottom. So the bottom of the shutter is going to need to be level with this part here. And there will just be a little bit of a triangle where it's going to be white. Right in this section here will be all white. I don't know if that's going to look weird, but it'll look, I don't think it would look right to fill it in with paint either. We'll see how it looks when it's done. And then we can always paint it in if we need to. This is the brand that we're using. It is the same brand that we used for the door and the service bays, and it's really held up well. So we're going to go with it again. It's a semi-gloss stain blocking paint primer in one. Oh, that's our grand puppy. Hi, Belle. Hello, Belle. Say hi. <laughs> oh, you poor thing. <laughs> and for all you guys with all your equipment and all your tools and everything, you'd flip out if you knew that all I used was this old ruler and a, and a pencil. <laughs> you work with what you got. But I got it all measured out here. And now I'll just put the tape on this side too. Doesn't turn out. It's gonna turn out. Why did you even ask a question? Huh. Now are you videotaping or taking a picture? I'm video. Oh, okay, well. So this is how you build shutters on an RV. <laughs> So it's going to be something, one way or the other. See how the ridges are in there because of the aluminum siding? With fiberglass it would look really flat, but with the aluminum it creates the lines. Like a Shutter effect. Shirt. Makes it shudder. Yeah. I'm shuddering in my shoes here right now. I can't believe I'm doing this. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it'll be quite the enhancement when it's all finished. It will be. And for those of you who are thinking we should be putting a flower, uh, a flower box underneath here with flowers. The thought crossed our mind, well, at least crossed my mind, but I'm having a hard time figuring out how to do that. So <laughs> probably will not happen. Well, not today, anyhow. <laughs> Give me another few months. We'll check back with you in a few minutes, see what's yeah. going on. Okay, there's one side. The true thing will be when we peel the tape off, and it's got to have another coat, so we have to wait for that to dry. It works so well on the other side. Decided. I'd let her try and do this side too. Oh great, you're showing my great, my great... Uh... This is how it all starts. <laughs> I, I, I eyeball, I've always eyeballed. It's precision eyeballing. Yep, that's why I've always hung my pictures and they've never been crooked, so okay. Advantage of having an RV where you're bouncing down the road, nobody can tell if it's straight or not. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be perfect, spot on. Well, we'll erase that part. Yep. You never say whoops, oops, or ew. <laughs> yep, this part's too long. One thing always kind of leads to another. <laughs> At the top of the window, 
but not quite to the top. I don't know if you can see it. I'll zoom in. See that blue and burgundy line? That's a decal. And we removed a lot of the decals, but we didn't go up that high yet. And I think we will not be able to point, paint over those. We're probably going to have to get the heat gun. I don't know if you can see. I'm trying to point to it here. Yeah, you point to it. There you go. Wait, there you go. Now you're all blurry. There, right there. And now it's blurry. Yeah, why don't you just stand there and point to it? I can't get so high. <laughs> I can't get it. Okay, we're probably going to have to use the heat gun. We're going to have to go about eight and three quarters inches away from the window with that, those two stripes and get rid of those. And eventually we could take the rest of it off and maybe they'll come off easy and I don't know, but they usually don't. So at least we will not be painting over them. The other one is on this side. We have the, we don't have a, an electric automatic awning. This is the old kind. And so we're going to have to work around that as well. But I think it'll be worth it. It's looking pretty good already. So we just have the two upper bedroom windows to get that those decals off. And then we can paint those. This is the this is the living room window. Got that done. We just got to put a second coat on that. Gary put a second coat on the other side already. I am loving the color. That is going to really pop. That with the green and then the red door. Oh yeah. That is awesome how quick that's coming off. I can't believe it. Cleaning up some of the edges where it bled underneath the tape. Yeah. yeah. Another improvement is that this is how cloudy these were. And now they look like brand new lights. I could not believe the difference. I couldn't believe we had any light coming through them before. And this is the product that Gary used for that. Headlight restoration wipes. They come in packets. Uh, this is the oh. first wipe. So it removes oxidation, cleans them up, makes them look nice, and then there's the one that puts another finish on it. It's just a clear protectant and then it leaves it wet. You let it dry for a few hours and it looks really nice. It does. Yes. We're very happy with how it turned out. And now we're thinking, well, gee, you know, we, we probably should. This has been really getting a lot of sun. So we're going to look for a product, another Armor All product that will take care of the black. What is this? Plastic. Not bad, really, for a 22-year-old 20, truck. 23-year-old truck. It's a 1998. <laughs> Not a speck of rust. Anywhere. So we'll use that armor all on these pieces here, too, to get those nice. We'll do the dash again, because we haven't done that for a while. Yeah. And... We got brand new Michelin tires at Costco. Look at the tread on those babies. Woo! That should that should have us going for a while. <laughs> so he decided to do our son's van.
You're probably going to go all the way down the street and do everybody's cloudy, cloudy headlights, <laughs> aren't you? This is so much fun. Great. <laughs> Have to be careful not to touch the paint. Oh. When you did when you did the truck you used painter's tape so that it wouldn't get on the paint. Yeah. You're just being very careful now. Right. Lots of oxidation here. Not just from an, uh, a cosmetic thing, but it's also so much better for brightness and everything. Right, yeah. So it's really a safety thing, too. It's made quite a difference with the truck. <laughs> so you're doing step one, the first one. I mean, the best thing to do is to clean it first. Just clean it with soap and water, right? Well, yeah, what you can, but it's, yeah. And then, and then this is step one, that you're going over this a couple of times, but this is very oxidized, so this is a little more challenging. See, this is pretty good here, but there's this oxidized section right there that's not as clear. Yep. I don't know if they can see that or not. Oh, you have some elbow grease in there. I do. I know. Maybe have to do that. So maybe you can see this little spot right here. That's a really tough one. Gary really rubbed and rubbed and rubbed on that. And on this one, a little bit in here and up in here that it's not as clear. This one was super oxidized, which in some cases you may have to use a little bit of a super fine sandpaper to get some of that off. And you're just supposed to apply this like a paint and let it, let it dry. This is step two. Ain't perfect, but better. Better, much better. Goodness gracious. What a difference that'll make. I can't get over that, and that's not even all the oxidation. There's that little piece here that still stayed, but the rest of it pretty much came off. Okay, Gary did the, the armor all on the black stuff now. Here, on this. Did the mirror, but not this one. Okay. I did the door handle. This is really bad. You'll see that on the other side. Just did the strip back to here. Okay. And then the front end. Now I'll go look at the front. The black part here. That looks a lot better. Now here's the contrast of the other side. This is what the door handle on this side looks like. Really, really super faded. And this, all down here is really faded. Getting some little, I don't know what those are. <laughs> Was it like that on the other side with the little white spots? Yeah. Wow, and it completely changed it. Okay, so let's see the progress here. Here's the, how bad that is. Again, before, 
before before and the humidity is unbelievable. We have all the fans shut off so we could finish this video and we're gonna do this fast because it's too hot. <laughs> anyway, really, really am glad that we did what we did. Loving the look. I know Gary's really excited. Oh, I'm just, yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> And it's really fun when you're going down the road and people are passing your RV and they give you a big thumbs up and they, or they smile or they point. Um, it, it's just, or, and then, and then people in campgrounds or wherever or parking lots will ask us, how did you get an RV with shutters? And I love that red door. And so it's, that's been fun. It's been all positive criticism so far. Yes. People appreciate it. Yeah. If you don't like it, too bad. And you know, <laughs> we've also been in some campgrounds where they have rules about being a certain age RV. That doesn't happen yeah. very often. But we've had people that have said, there's no problem with yours. You, you took such good care of it. It looks really cute. And they think it's really retro looking and whatever. So... Anyway, we're really glad we did it. The truck looks great, too. So, a little elbow grease goes a long way. In a future video, we're going to be showing you all the things we've done on the outside and inside in the last four years. It's been a progress, or it's been a process. <laughs> but it's um, all come together and really like the way it looks. It's our home. Thanks for watching. I'm glad you came along. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up that subscribe button down below if you haven't yet and next to it a bell is going to pop up ring the bell and you'll be notified every time new videos come up until next time god bless